Hey, 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 what's up my crypto fans? So in today's video, we're gonna go over two of the altcoins that I called out last week, roughly about five days ago. And we wanna see why is Oasis Network pumping and also DMT or Demetra, which is kind of a farmer's union token. And also as looking on here, winner of blockchain entrepreneurship award in 2022. But you wanna know, is there any proof in what I said? How did I call it last week? And how is it done for five days later. So if you want to know all that cool stuff and more, stay tuned and let's go crypto. What up? So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Christian and this is Crypto OG, where I'll give you all the news, reviews and overviews in the crypto, DeFi, yes, and sometimes NFT space. And I know this is what you always watch a channel for, the mandatory waffle that anything you see here or choose to ignore is not financial advice. It's just me trying to get followers on YouTube. No joking, it's just me being nice. So with all that being said, you want to know what's going on with Oasis Network and DMTR. So jumping into... Oasis platform if you've not seen this and if you've not compared it to the video that I did last week where I short, sort of said I was going into these trades don't do what I do but if you want to copy get get into them and I think Coinbase pretty much sums it up what is Oasis Network it's a decentralized layer one blockchain solution designed to support confidential and Ethereum compatible smart contracts layer one blockchain solution is the one that improves the underlying main blockchain architecture of the base protocol to make the the overall system scalable now we all know ethereum had some massive update and what that meant was that some people thought ethereum will sell off because people are able to sell ethereum effectively or more of it and it had the reverse effect ethereum pumped so a level one on ethereum in my eyes was going to be a no-brainer to pump so we got into that early and i showed you on the chart and if we just have a look at rose's chart here you can see one two, three, four, five days ago, we were down here. You can see my trading channels that I also showed you on that video were in here. So I like to trade at these, these levels because for many of you that know how I trade, you know I like to take these 10%, exactly 10% there. And we knew we could widen it here because once we broke this resistance, we get another 10% there. And yes, we were rewarded with a massive, it was 21%, but obviously a lot of you know, I would have cashed out around about here, 15%. But I did say this, it's not a bragging show or anything like this. I will also show my downfalls if I get it wrong because I'm a trader, I lose some and I win some. But on this one, that's today. So say for instance, we've done it on the 13th. So the 18th, 17th, 16th, 14th, 13th, you would have been seeing it on this. I did say once we break out and we get a confirmation close above this kind of resistance line, it turns it into new support and wallop. You're rewarded with an over 20% pump. So that's why I was good with Rose. Why did Rose pump? Because of the Ethereum news and it went to the roof. Now for me, I know it's not the 100 X's people probably promise you. I know it's not all of that but we're only talking about five days we've got a long way to go and a massive bull market hopefully on the horizon so if we're nicking 10 20 percent like that just in five days do you know it's not going to be long before we could accumulate 10x before we've even started to invest so that's why i love this token that's why i'm happy that's why i'm excited for those of you that are real traders and not just moon boys this is how we do it we're in and out of the market taking these 10 percent taking these 15 percent 20 percent and we're filling our bags up to go into the dollar cost averaging when the prices come on pullback. Now, number two, obviously, is the DMTR or Demetra. Now, Demetra has been an absolute banger since they've been really pushing out their, their kind of social media platform. Here it gives you a video about the Connected Farmers platform. It's a bit like in the UK, we have NFU, National Farmers Union, that sells all the insurance and stuff. This one is kind of a platform that connects farmers with kind of modern technology to get better money, better sustainability on crops. I was looking at and what I was researching, it's not just for Western farmers, there's a lot of farmers all around the world. You know how big agricultural is. Here it gives you the circulating supply, the total, the state tokens, minted, etc. All of that jazz, which is good. But we were sort of trading on the news that these were pushing out a kind of 
pretty big deal on the social media. So just how big did we go with this? Well, let's jump back into my trusty charts and wallop. This is DMTR. Now you can see if I go up here, my buying zones were way, way low compared to where this went. And I'm going to be honest with you, I had no clue just how good this would do. If you have a look from pretty much back in February where my trading channel started, my trading channels were just literally taking these nice swing trades and they were doing me fine. They, they were giving me constant returns. You can see here they were playing out to a T. Yeah, sometimes we're missing them there, but if you can see it's way above my 10% takeouts anyway, that little bit there is 42%. And this is what we were getting back from this token. We were getting a pump there, 50%. Then we was waiting for it to obviously break through and turn this into to port it didn't got rejected so then we trade from the next one which is a dollar cost averaging buying zone then we come up here we get a nice 23 percent then we pump up here to 46 we didn't quite get that so we drop down and bam we get exactly in where these lines are you could not make this up i mean facts and stats here i'm not the best trader in the world but i'm pretty good at reading markets and i'm pretty good at getting in and out and you can see here we got in at another one and once it sold out the lines another 51%. Now, for those of you that know how I trade and follow my channel, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, tick that bell notification. But for those of you that know, you know I put sometimes anywhere from 4,000 to 10,000 on these kind of swing trades. So for me to be getting anywhere over 10, 15% is an absolute godsend to me. And for me, this was, you know, this is meant to be a bear market, everyone. You know, it's just, it's just bloody crazy. So then we went down and you can see here, yeah, we do break through where my trade lines are, but just, just bear with me a, a second because I don't tell anyone any bullshit on this channel. It doesn't matter. We don't look to get the bottom here and we don't look to get the top here. We just need to buy in at these lines and sell out at these lines because that is good enough for us. You know, 24% is absolutely good. Now, when we brought in on this second confirmation candle and I sent everyone, so here's the 18th, 17th, 16th, 15th, 14th, 13th. I'm not going to lie. I got in on this one. This closed perfectly for me and that said trade. I did a video on this day. So if you got in where my video said you could have got a potential 86% pump. When I traded in on this, I got a 92% because I don't sell at the top. I wait for the daily close. And when the daily close came, I cashed out. So I let that one ride all the way up because it smashed my original 10%. I knew it was going to go good. Did I put some money down? I'll be honest with you. I put 10,000 down and boom, it went to the moon. So yeah, I got probably about 9,200 off that. I pay a little bit of fees. Got to take some money out for taxes when I effectively cash it out, but we'll worry about that in tax season. So for me, these are the kind of calls that I was giving. These are the kind of things that I was trading. And don't worry, no one's going to, not everyone's going to be able to do this because my channel's relatively small. I think that video only got about 143 viewers but if I just made one person some money that was that video well worth its while so we are trading our way in a bear market and we're getting bull market returns which to me is absolutely fantastic now I hope you enjoyed this I hope a lot of you know now how these kind of oasis networks goes this DMTR goes these were absolutely bangers now I'm now looking for my next tokens I'm expecting a small pullback shortly not not massive bitcoin is if I jump back in the chart, sorry, if Bitcoin's pretty much in limbo with a small retracement at the moment, you can see here, I'm expecting Bitcoin maybe to sort of like bounce around these 29 levels. And if we do get a pullback, I think it's only going to be a small one, maybe down to the 27 mark or maybe the 28 mark. And then we'll start trading these, looking for the next coin. Maybe it might be Zillica's done pretty good, ApeCoin, VRA. These are some of the ones I'm looking at because they're steadying out now. And then obviously, Obviously, you can see here where everything's sort of been pumping in my channels. Everything's playing out absolutely beautiful at the moment. And if you're following me, everyone's making some absolute banging gains. So I hope you found this video super informative. I hope everyone's got super rich off Oasis and DMTR. But as always, on Crypto OG, trade safe, trade smart, and don't get wrecked.